Um, welcome to Museum of Cornish Life and in today's Museum Week we're going to make an archaeology game um, that's based around the card game Papers. Um, so it's based on some of our collection and we're going to show you how to make it and at the same time you'll be learning some archaeology facts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera because I'm in the museum here with my family who are also young volunteers um, and they're going to demonstrate how the game works. Um, so you can either make your own set of pairs or can we demonstrate we've got ones you can get online here yeah, here we go so we have made these and you can always print them out um, from our website in our learning section and then what you do is you cut them out and put them on a card and then we've also made a game for it um, a board game so you can see we've got it a bit muddy um, any guesses how we did this? It's when you like get a tea bag and like you stab the paper. Yeah, yeah, so it makes it look older. And we've called the game Palace or Palace. And again, I'll give you a clue, it's a Cornish word. Is there anyone have any ideas out there what it might be? No, I, I don't. don't know a clue. Let me give you all out there a quiz here in Cornish. Do you think it's mud, dig or archaeology? I'll give you all a countdown to argue. Five, four, Mud. three, two, one. I don't know. <laughs> dig. Oh, no. it's dig. Because um, archaeology involves a lot of digging. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to look through some of the objects that we have. Um, and let's see what we've got here. So, Coral, do you want to pick a first card? Let's see what this one is. It Ooh. is a bronze age pot. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, and this was picked because over here we have a Bronze Age pot in the collection. Um, and the Bronze Age is between sort of 2500 BC to 800 BC, so objects are very old. Right, Cole, do you want to see if you can try and make a pair? Let's see what this one is. What is it? It's a ceramic fragment. I don't think that matches. That no, does not either. match. <laughs> So do you want to turn them over and I'll show why we've picked yeah. these. So we've got quite a lot of um, ceramic fabrics in the collection. And these were used to transport water and food. Um, and they were basically your cardboard boxes of today. Right. Opponent two comes into play. Do you Nothing. want to see if you can pick a couple of cards? Um, okay. Standing stones. Let's see. And... Standing stones. Well oh. done. <laughs> Too good. So standing stones um, are also known as now apologies for anyone that speaks Cornish, manors, and they're ancient structures which were used as meeting places in the past. And they were also thought to have some ceremonial purposes. And you can find lots of stone circles in West Cornwall and also in Bodmin Moor. And a lot of those sites date back to the Bronze Age. And they're thought to have played a part in burial rites. And other stone circles were thought to be used for astronomy. Right, so that is a winning set. So if you can pick them up and keep them, and you've got Ooh, your one. So right. <laughs> Effie, do you want to see if you can find another pair? Yeah. Um, spindle. you got spindle whirl. Yeah. And I'll go for this one. Oh, my lip ran out. Iron Age coin. You've got a spindle whorl. So these are disc shaped objects with holes in them and help you make cloth. And then you've got a coin. So this is an Iron Age coin. And before the invention of coins, people used to barter. So what I'm just going to do while they're turning them over is show you some of the coins in our collection down here. And we also have um, some discs and beads. And these would have been used for um, trading. And we've got a kind of glass counter here. And then here are the spindle whorls. And these were from Cairns Gate down in the Lizard. They're the little round things at the front. Right, let's see where we are. Let's see, right. Um, so Effie didn't have any success there, so Carl, do you want to see if you can try and find a pair? 
Uh, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. This one. It is a Bronze Age necklace. Oh, wow. And for the next one, I'm going to have a real good look. And this one. Oh, Flint Arrowhead. I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a Flint Arrowhead here. Um, now, there was an amazing bronze necklace um, discovered in Cornwall in 1783 by a local man called John Price. Um, and it was a gold collar, um, which was probably, again, about 2500 BC, and it was found in the Gothian area. We don't have that here, but we do have flint arrowheads. Um, and I'll show you here, and I'm going to go zooming up to our case on the top. And you can see some of the tools we've got at the back um, here. And these are Paleolithic tools. So what you do is you just keep playing the game and see <laughs> how you go. Right. Oh. So we hope you have lots of fun. Um, and we oh. hope you're better than um, our oh, young no. volunteers oh, here. Oh my gosh. In finding pears. No. Oh, poop. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh, hope you join oh. us again um, on one of our meets. Thank you. Thank you.